fitness systems and what Wolf Fitness Systems is about. Wolf Fitness Systems is uh, my attempt to share the things that have helped change my life. I've gone through a lot in a relatively short period of time in life. I've gone through a phase where maybe some people can relate. You know, I was depressed. I wasn't feeling productive. I, I didn't feel like I was giving back to society. You know, to me that, that really meant a lot because you know, in my heart of hearts, I always wanted to give, you know, and I just didn't feel like I was giving enough to, to the community and to the people around me. You know, in 2003, I had met somebody who, to this point, has been one of the largest influences on who, who I've become and shared with me that which I, I hope to share with, with their, our community here in Salinas Valley in Monterey County. And really, that gentleman's name is Scott Sonnen, and he, he's my coach. He's the guy who, who drives me to reach new heights both uh, as a person and, and in, in my health and wellness. He developed a system called Circular Strength Training. That's the system we, we share with, with people in our programs. It's all our, our take on this system. And the system is really unique as far as fitness is concerned because it's a health first in the sense that what we do is, is never there to sacrifice your well-being, your long-term well-being for fat loss or weight loss or anything else, you know, if, if, if I say I can make you drop 10 pounds in two weeks, but you're hurting for months afterwards because you sacrifice, you know, good form or you sacrifice, you know, the ability to, to use your core to protect your back, you're not doing the things in the right order. You're not, you're not doing what's healthy. With us, what, what our goal is as coaches for, for everybody is to make sure that we don't sacrifice your well-being to reach a short-term goal. Whether they, they see the value in it at first or not, they, they do see it over time. And, and what we do is we start out by mobilizing the joints. We start out with the joint health approach of warming up. So what we do is we take all the major joint complexes and, and move them through their full range of motion. Uh, revitalizing the joints, nourishing the joints, and recovering range of motion. So, you know, people that have had injuries in the past, or maybe people who are sitting at a desk all day long, they don't know that they even lost range of motion because they, all they do is they, they reach out to what they see in front of them. They, their world is this little box in front of them that, that they can see, and they don't realize they can reach all the way back here. Their, their body can move in all these different ways. They lose the ability to to be in control of themselves and in control of their body because of it. It's a shame, you know, it's a shame that they, they, they feel imprisoned in their body. So the first thing we do is we try to unshackle them from those chains that they've put on themselves essentially through not moving and, and try to revitalize and restore function of their joints. Then, then, then and only then do we start loading up the body. We, uh, we use a variety of different stuff, uh, training modalities, we use kettlebells, we use uh, weighted club training called club bells. You know, most people aren't very familiar with those yet. Um, gymnastic rings we use to make drills easier and harder. We I mean, can use them as assistance uh, or, or, or as something an unstable environment to make somebody work harder. In. A lot of body weight training, and then uh, you know we mix that all up in a way that people are getting their strength training and their conditioning, their cardio. You know, all at the same time. It's really necessary and people don't always practice it. It's like a, we call it compensatory movements. And what it is, is this yoga inspired cool down, you know? Uh, yoga's been around for ages, millennia, and you know, we want to make sure that we lengthen out the tissues of the body so that you don't become restricted like we talked about earlier, you know? We want to make sure that if you're exercising, that you're not exercising in a way that create imbalances in the body. And so, you know, that's kind of a long explanation as to, you know, why we train the way we do and why we use the circular strength training system. But uh, this is exactly why people get predictable, sustainable, long-term results from the, from the training programs that we implement.